In this video, Kevin and I are going to go over our likes and dislikes from the month of August. Uh, so the things that we really, really loved or we really, really hated, we only had two things that we hated, so we're going to get right into it. And uh, the first one is this Jelly Belly. This is the Pina Colada. It wasn't as bad to Kevin as it was to me. I absolutely detested it. Um, it. I was hoping that these Jelly Belly beverages would be like the Clear American from Walmart. Like they would be like sweet like candy. They're not like that. These are more like a LaCroix. And I wrote a note on here. I wrote, not as harsh as LaCroix, but this tasted like suntan lotion. Very artificial. So... I personally wouldn't get any of those Jelly Bellies again. We gave them away to uh, my niece, and she really enjoyed them. But she drinks the She LaCroix drinks LaCroix, yeah. She said, Aunt Tammy, I like those. I said, that's great, because they cost enough. You know, they were very expensive. So I'm glad you're enjoying them. Uh, but so, there is... Anytime we think um, that we hate something or if you buy something at your house and you think you hate it, give it to somebody else because chances are somebody's going to like it or they wouldn't keep making this stuff. Um, and the other thing, do you want to talk about no. it? This is the Lenny and Larry's The Boss Cookie. This is specifically the chocolate chunk. I wrote on the back, very artificial, chemical, bad texture, bad smell. Mm, so I that. When we opened the package, it was like, ugh. Just everything about this was wrong. And that's not to say that the regular Lenny and Larry's cookies, that's not to compare them at all. These are specifically the boss, and they have eight, 18 grams of protein. Just didn't like them. Wouldn't, wouldn't get them again. Um, so those were the only two things that we absolutely hated. So, do you want to, you can do whatever you want. I have to put glasses on because I can't see. Um, I've got a the chess bar from Miller's Baking and Bakery and Catering. Catering. Okay, I couldn't see what the last one was. Um, these were excellent. They they were like a little chess pie, if I remember correctly. Um, except in a bar form. Yeah, except yeah. in a bar. They were just. I mean, they were most of the stuff that they had. Honestly, was was good. It wasn't bad. Yeah, but that but, was. The but best. this was like the best out of the best. Um, and, what the and that's Kentucky made, right? Yeah. That's yeah. locally. Those yeah. were made by the Amish. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah and right. it even has a picture of a horse and buggy. It does. On the front, a horse and buggy you know? on the front of it. Yeah. Um, those. This really good. If you're in the area. You see them, you can buy them. Yeah, I'm sure I said in the video, I'm sure you have some uh, Amish in your area that make stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. You just have to go to like a convenience store or something and pay attention to what they have on the counter. That's where you're normally going to find these locally made things, just like in our shell station. Yep. They always have little cream candies yep. and stuff like yep. that up there. So um, next, I'm going to show everything I'm going to show uh, you right now was sent to us from Georgian. So Georgian sent us these crispy cookies and they're crispy crispy cookies yeah, they're thin. and so we had the brownie chip the salted caramel and the almond the funny thing is is during the review kevin told you that one of these was his favorite and then it turned out after eating a lot more a different one was his favorite so the brownie chip ended up being his favorite it's good um, good, for, yes. good chocolate flavor so uh, during the video i'm almost positive he said that the salted caramel was his favorite but once you yeah, once you've had another one or two or five <laughs> or eight or whatever whatever yeah, yeah. Um, you, you tend to get those ones you want to go back for and it was the brownie one the brownie yeah so it's i always like to it's fun to kind of revisit that during the the favorites video because especially if something's changed it's nice to be able to tell you hey but but they're all good you see they're all three in mm -hmm. here yeah. because they were all three right. good and now i want to show you something else from george man uh, Kevin and I both, uh, these are both the Great Lakes potato chips. Mm -hmm. These are the sea salt, pepper, and onion, which I absolutely love. And these are the barbecue ones. Which, Terrific. Which I'm thinking I ate most of the barbecue ones, and I think you ate those. <laughs> yes. The, I, I love sea salt and pepper anyway chips. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody was just asking me on Instagram, uh, said something like, those must have been really good chips. I said they were. They were genuinely they were excellent chips. Um, highly recommend getting them. Uh, and Georgian also sent uh, the Chicago Gold uh, Buffalo Cheddar Gourmet Popcorn. 
We don't get this brand around here, but we thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. So that, I think that that's probably all I have from Georgian. I'm looking to make sure. Uh, but thank you, Georgian, for sending all of those. Um, I have a stack of like Hawaii favorites, things we like in Hawaii. We can put these if you want. Yeah, we bought these at uh, Don Quixote. Uh, this is a, a banana and uh, it was a candy bar, but it had banana and this one had uh, milk chocolate and um, all fort, bourbon all fort is the name of this. Uh, but yeah, those were terrific. And then this was the tiki bar candy, the, the specifically the toasted coconut. These are the really soft ones, weren't they? I mean, they were just like- I think they were very soft. They were yeah. super soft. Like it wasn't even a candy bar. It was more of a, I don't know, really, I mean, it wasn't even, so it was softer than fudge even. It was just super, super soft. The texture was so good and the, the coconut was really good mm -hmm. here too. So that was really, really good. Then we got the uh, Good News Bar. This is um, what Christopher's. Christopher's, yeah. yeah. And that was excellent. And we, uh, it's funny because we bought it in Hawaii, but it's made in California, like San Bernardino, California. Yeah, yeah. And this one is Christopher's too. It's the Big the same, Cherry. Yeah, the, the same company and uh, I somehow I missed it and didn't put them in the same video together. I put them in separate videos. Yeah, that those, was just, you know. Those were good. Yeah. And then we had, here you go with that one. And then we had uh, the Joyva um, chocolate covered jelly Joys. Yes. Um, this was, is this the one that has a really thick jelly in it? But yes. it's got a really good texture? Yes. Yeah. It's almost like you've taken um, jelly, like you buy in a jar and thickened it up and made it a block of it and then covered it in chocolate. It's Turkish <laughs> really Delight good. without yeah. the rose. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly what yeah, it Turkish is. Turkish Delight without being actually nasty like Turkish Delight. It's, and it's, it's wonderful. It's yeah. very, very good. Yeah, just yeah. take the rose flavor out and you have the... Yeah, the, it was excellent. Uh, and this is Hawaii Candy Pineapple oh, Coconut Balls. Yes. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. We'd they get these good. all the time. Can't get them all the time because they're they're so good. Uh, I have no self-control. But they were wonderful. Yeah, so they were good. How did I end up uh, end up helping with yours? Because I've got a lot more stuff well, than Kevin ahead. does over here. Uh, these were sent to us from Daniel. So Daniel sent us the Martha White Hush Puppies, and this had uh, onion flavor. We had never had the mm -hmm. Martha White version. They're good. Hush Puppies are so easy to make. They're easy to make anyway, even if you don't have the the mix. Even They're homemade, easy. just cornmeal. It's it's so simple to make hush puppies, but the mix is even makes it even easier. So if you've never made, a lot of you said you've never made hush puppies at home, it do it. Especially like if you have a deep fryer anyway, mm -hmm. go for it because it's so easy and they're so good, piping hot. Mm -hmm. um, really good. And this was the best choice. Uh, beer bread. We did have to buy a bottle of beer mm -hmm. to be able to make it. But, uh, but it reminded us both of the old school bread machine oh flavors gosh. of bread. It and that crispy crust and everything. Excellent. Yeah, yes. It was very good. Uh, and this is the best choice uh, superior selections. It was terrific. It was. And we haven't had a bread machine in years. 20 years yeah. probably. Um, 15 years at least. This was sent to us from Dr. J. This is the Cadbury Dairy Milk. Uh, no frowny brownie, uh, which was Dr. J's pick as well. Oh, really? Yes, the no frowny brownie. Um, it was good. It was, yes, a terrific candy bar. Cadbury, anyway, is great chocolate. Uh, so, especially when you can get it from the UK, it's better than it is here. Very good chocolate. Uh, this was sent to us from Asthma. This is a Little Turtles Sea Salt Almond Cluster. Uh, sea salt, almonds, and milk chocolate. So Asthma lives in Ohio, and this is an Ohio company, Little Turtles, and it's just terrific. Uh, it was very good. I could have a whole box of just these. Um, then I have a ton of stuff. Let me do just a few of mine. Just sure. Ice creams. Yeah. Um, I've got two ice creams. These are both. They had graters on sale at Kroger, <laughs> so I just went and bought like. Crazy. Yes, but these weren't in those. These weren't in these, but I'm just telling you. If yeah. you sell on sale, go get that. Yeah. So that got us, that got me wanting different ice cream. So yes. we found these in the actual store. Yeah, we went to um, the greater This is the shop. strawberry uh, sorbet and the lemon sorbet. And the texture, and they're low, they're pretty decent calorie wise mm -hmm. too. I mean, they're, you know, you get the low calorie ice cream, like Halo Top and stuff that has gotten better on texture. But um, yes. these are almost as low as those, and they're like a super full flavor, creamy, 
sorbet. It was just excellent. And uh, I think I, I ended agree. up liking the strawberry the best, but the mm -hmm. lemon was pretty daggone good. The lemon was excellent. I don't think I've seen the strawberry anywhere but the scoop shop. But yeah. it was in a little container. It's like a little uh, pint-sized container. Yeah. But now we have seen the lemon at the Fresh Market. So, but... Yeah, out of this world. Outstanding. Craters are good. Craters got ice cream. And very refreshing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Okay, so all of these, Kevin can help me out with these, are from Maria. Maria lives in Berlin, Germany, and she sent us a ton of stuff, and we liked a ton of it. That's the thing, is we liked a lot of it so much that it, it made it over to our favorites because we would get it again and again. These are the limited edition. This is Nestle chocolate chips. This is the strawberry. And I have the, the chocolate and white chocolate. Yeah, and they, they were just super, super sweet. And they look like they're covered potato chips or something. And they're not. They're not. They're just no. little pieces of chocolate. And then she sent us a... a a pickup this was a strawberry cheesecake pickup okay. so it was a special thing uh these knoppers uh this was a uh knoppers with coconut uh which are phenomenal this this is the alpia and it's a limited edition sunny orange they yeah, should have this good. out all the time mm -hmm. um and if you missed any of maria's videos i'm getting the texture um maria a lot of her stuff melted it didn't affect the flavor, no, trust it me. Good. It did not affect the flavor because they wouldn't have made it in this video if it had a. These are the Haribo. This was a um, honeydew melon. Which was excellent. And these are uh, little milkshakes. And they had vanilla and strawberry, I think, was the other one. Terrific. Both of these Haribos would be like again and again yeah. buys for us. These were like, one. Of, this one was like a fruit slice, wasn't it? It was yes. like a gummy. And it had like sugar on the like outside. Like a gumdrop almost. Yeah. Yeah. And then these were the, just the. The, the white uh, kind of. Yeah. 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 And then yeah, these. Y'all. Y'all. Uh, these are the uh, Halloran Kuglin. Oh, all those are good. Yes. I don't think I've had a bad one of those. No. Any <laughs> of these. these this one has rum. This one was like a, I think it, this one was like the eggnog one. Yeah. Terrific. And egg cream or something like that. Yes. And these, these boxes open up. They're like little gifts. I didn't open them the these right correctly, but they open up like a package and, and they're all in there nicely, like a nice box of chocolates. And from what I've been told, the prices are, are pretty, uh, uh, good over there. Well, they're, so. they're, the flavor and the texture of those are just wonderful. This is a Mr. Tom once again. It was sent to us from Maria. This would remind you of a uh, planter's bar or what is it? Like a the munch? brittle bar. Yeah, like a munch, yeah. Bar. Yeah, munch bar. That's what this would remind you like of. Like a peanut brittle bar. Peanut brittle bar, yep. Yeah. This is the Werther's Original uh, Caramel Popcorn. This so this had the uh, addition of the pretzels which believe it or not you wouldn't think it would make that big of a difference it does awesome 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 could not stop eating this stuff uh these are the uh, popcorn brant uh shokadis i don't know how, i'm pronouncing that wrong i know but they they're like they had little popcorn pieces in them and you could really taste the popcorn mm -hmm. Yeah, they were good because it had a creamy texture on the inside. Terrific. Yeah. It's with the texture of the popcorn, too. Yeah. So, that, like, there were the crunchy pieces. Um, these, these are awesome. These are called My Choco. Uh, Choco. Choco. My Choco. And uh, this was a limited edition. It was a white. And then this was a uh, salted caramel. Both of those. She yeah. sent us, like, very, very four of these. These were the our favorites. We'd get those again and again and again. And they're great big bars. Like, um, what Tom. are Tom. I mean, not Tom's. Um. I had to say that. Um, I don't remember the, I can't, um, Tony's. Tony. Tony's, Tony's Chocolate. Tom. Yeah, Tony's Chocolate Lonely. They're yeah, great they're big very bars that. like that. And then, uh, lastly from Maria are the Lorenz. Crunch Chips, wow. This is the incredible paprika and sour cream pleasure. Um, she sent us a lot of good chips, mm -hmm. but these were our favorites. Were the these were ones. like, we would get them again and again. So, lots of stuff from Maria. Can we do one? Yeah. All right, so I've got two uh, Blue Diamond Nut Thins. One is the Almond 
um, honey, honey cinnamon and the other one is with sesame seeds and if you watch those at all you know that the sesame seeds is like one of our favorite like savory oh, yeah. snacks yeah. and uh, these were just top notch I mean I still like the sesame sticks better I do too however if you don't have those or you don't want to buy those these are very 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 good too mm -hmm. and the honey cinnamon I think you like those we both liked them, but I think you liked those more than I did. I though. did. I like those for like a little sweet snack. Yeah, they and, were good and sweet. And they're not overly sweet, but they're just like a, a good, like if you have a, something for dinner and you just want a little hit of something yeah. sweet, you could get yeah. like they weren't very six or seven either. of those. Yeah. Yeah. 17 for 130. Right. So, so okay. What yeah, else those aren't bad. Um, these are the Wicked. Wicked um, Mix. Wicked Mix. This one is the spicy original. That's just the original. This is the smoky, oh, smoky hot, hot chipotle. chipotle. Okay. Um, and that was very, I remember it being smoky, mm -hmm. just a smoky flavor coming through really good. But um, and, you know, both of these were excellent. We found <laughs> these at Kroger. Yeah. And if they were on sale more often, I'd probably buy them more often. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course, you excellent. have to have self-control too, and I have no self-control. Um, because they're so good that you just want to eat, eat, the eat, whole eat. Thing. Uh, but they're kind of pricey. We found them on sale. You just need to make sure they ring up on sale because that can be an issue with with stuff like this. Uh, but these uh, are definitely not low calorie because the whole bag you get seven servings. It's 140 calories. No, so but these are some of the best. Uh, like trail, like, trail like Chex mixes. mixes almost. Yes, they're awesome. It's very similar, like a Chex mix. Do we do more? You've got those two that are the same at the top. These, these two. Oh, the giddy yeah. up. giddy up nuts. You take that one. Giddy up nuts. These are the original uh, spice. And it's the brazen buffalo. Uh, yeah, we had found these at the fresh market. Fresh market, because yeah. I saw them just the other day, and I was like, oh, that's those things we really like. Yes, but now we bought lemon as well. We didn't really like the lemon <laughs> that much. Bless you. Uh, we didn't really like the lemon that much, but... Uh, but these the, are really good. Yes. The savory ones. Yes, and I believe these are probably a little bit pricey too. Of course, when you're buying from Fresh Market, you're going to pay a little bit more. Uh, but I've never seen these anywhere else either. No. So, uh, really good brand to look out for. So, then we have this. This is the Bon Mon Mon uh, Cranberry Cherry Preserves. It was a limited edition. As you can see, I finished oh, this in no time. I can go through a jar of jelly. I probably should not admit this, but three days, probably three, three days, maybe four, um, and it's gone. And I really like this one and would get it again. Did we find this at World Market? Uh, I can't remember. Um, I don't, I maybe. think in World Market, maybe, but I really like this because I like the pieces of the cranberry and the cherry, and it just, yeah. And you and can't had a beat good cherry this flavor too. brand. Yeah, and you can't beat this brand anyway. I mean, this yeah. is an Overall, excellent it's a brand. Good, it's a good jam. Yeah, I would like to see this sold all the time at the regular store. Um, this one is the Trader Joe's, the Key Lime Kettle Popcorn. And, and truth be told, I don't remember much about it. I do, because um, I just... I don't remember eating it a lot. Maybe I did. you ate it. Because I, I don't remember finishing it. I was like, I don't remember a lot about it, except, you know, we did the review. I don't remember a lot about it. That, I had so much stuff from Maria that I set some stuff on Kevin's side that really were probably my favorites. This would probably should have been on my side to show you. Well, it definitely should have been. Um, it uh, it was like eating key lime. I do remember it being good. Yeah, a key lime popcorn. It yeah. was excellent. Um, it's one and of Trey those. And Trader Joe's is one of those hit and miss kind of things. Sometimes we love the stuff from Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we really don't like it at all. And they did a good job they did a good on job these. Yeah. Um, let me show one more and then you can show the rest of yeah, what you I only have. have two more. These are both. These were sent from uh, Kevin and Kevin uh, ordered these from a place called Exotic Boulevard. I wrote it on the back. Um, these are the uh, Lay's Max. They're uh, extreme cheesy cheese. Mm -hmm, they were and good. And then these were the Doritos Diablo. Mm -hmm, they were good too. Awesome. Yeah. Just awesome. Like if they sold these around here, um, I, especially the but well both of them they were just both really really good we would get them all the time if they were available uh excellent so thank you to kevin for sending us those um this one is the martha stewart carrot cake and we bought these at kroger kroger is the only place i've seen selling these is anybody else it's martha uh yeah I, I, yeah i think kroger is the only place we've seen yeah. but the carrot cake was really good some of the stuff martha stewart has we we were just okay with it was just eh, it was okay it's not worth the price right the carrot cake however was was really really good and, yes and 
still maybe not worth the price because they're very expensive, but but it was an excellent flavor. I stuff. thought it was a really good amount. I did think it was worth the price. Th uh, this is the only one that's come close, really, yes. for, for the most part. And Kevin, if you watch his lunchtime review channel, he has been, he, he bought a bunch at one time. So he doesn't want to eat the same brand day after day after day so he spreads them out and, it's and you all don't want to see the same thing no right? you don't want to see martha stewart for two weeks straight until he's finished with them so he still has martha stewart in uh, meals in the freezer to review still but the ones that he's reviewed so far uh the common theme is it's not a lot of food and it's very, very pricey. Like seven bucks for seven a raise of mail. I think it's like seven ninety five. And not a lot of food. No, very little food. This one though, for it to be in this video, you know, I do think it was worth it. It was worth the price. The flavor was there. It's a really, really good carrot cake. Um, just terrific. I would get that again and, and feel happy to serve it to anybody. Yeah, it was really good. And the last thing I have is the uh, last thing period is the fresh market. Um, this one is a limited edition yogurt birthday cake pretzels. And you wouldn't think a pretzel would be in our favorites, but those were so, so good and sweet and birthday cake like, mm -hmm. um, and then you get the salty from the pretzel. They were, they were excellent. And I believe if you, if you have a fresh market near you look in the clearance section or the stuff that's on sale, because since these were out for the summer, mm -hmm. I think they're trying to get rid of these. They now. had a summer markdown. Yes. The other day. So, so look for these, they would be worth getting. Uh, so now lastly, uh, Kevin has a lunchtime review channel and he does not have any meals to show you. No Didn't have any loves or hates. No, they were all kind of mediocre. For I think the most, I gave fours for a bunch. And we three. try not to pull them in. The high is five. He does it, his rating out of five, five's the best. So I he, have pulled fours in before, but it's something I've really liked that was a four. Yeah, usually he tries to it, for it to, to be a four and a half or a five to pull it into this video. But he does go out to eat one day a week and those videos are posted on Thursdays. So I always remind him of what he's had the past exactly. month. And then he tells us what he liked the most or where he would never go again. And I just think this is interesting. Um, Cause so, I don't remember what I ate last week. Okay, the, on the 5th and for people who don't watch the Lunchtime Review yeah, channel, you can I think uh, some of these might pique your interest and you might want to go over there and check some of them out. So on the 5th, you did the Arby's versus Popeye's chicken nuggets right. because Popeye's has new chicken nuggets, Arby's has new chicken nuggets. So we did a, com or he did a comparison. Then on the 12th, you ate at Hot Head Burritos. You had the Americano bowl right. and Hot Head Burritos. On the 19th, you ate Applebee's Bourbon Street Chicken and Shrimp. And then on the 26th, you had Panda Express Crispy Almond Chicken Breast. Uh, so you can... I can honestly say that none of them were like way, way, way up there, you know? Uh, but I did really like the Panda Express, the chicken. I especially liked the chicken. The rice itself was very, very bland. Um, so I'll probably try the noodles again if I did it, but I would definitely get the chicken again because it was really good. I love that crispy coating on there. It was mm -hmm. kind of sweet. Uh, I also would try the steak too, to be honest with you. Um, Applebee's, you know, we haven't eaten at Applebee's in oh, I haven't eaten years at Applebee's and years and years. At least and, 15 years. And it didn't impress me enough to make me want to go back again. That meal didn't. It was just okay. It was just nothing. It was always just it, okay. It was just always okay. And Who honestly, wants to eat an okay meal? If you're going to go out to eat. And spend that much money. Yeah. I want to um, go somewhere I, good. <laughs> I remember years ago having an Applebee's and I, I got a steak. And it tasted like a paper towel. It was literally had this, this touch texture. like a, It was awful. Uh, I don't know what they did with it. And they don't sell baked potatoes there. You have to get something else. They mashed potatoes and stuff like that. I like a baked potato if I'm eating the steak. If I'm going to spend the money though, you why, not, why not have a sure thing? Why yeah. not go someplace to where you know it's a sure thing, it's going to be a great meal, and you feel good about spending the money. I never did feel good about spending the money at Applebee's. It's no. like, why did I go there again? I know. So, yeah. I just avoid so it. So, Applebee's... No, I wouldn't recommend that. The hot head burritos was very, very good. It was pouring rain the day I went, uh, but it was very good. I just got the, the regular bowl. Um, I didn't get anything like uh, fancy seasonings or spices or anything like that on there. You could have, there was other things you could get, 
That one, that one in the Panda Express, what's funny is I did two restaurants that were similar makeup. They're kind of like Chipotle or Qdo is where you go in, you tell them what your base is and then what you want on top and then you leave, you, you pay and you leave. Um, that's what uh, both of those were like, so it's pretty cool. And Arby's and Popeyes, you know, neither one of them were really bad. They were very similar to each other, honestly. Um, I don't know, if I was going to a fast food restaurant and I wanted some chicken nuggets, I would rather have those than McDonald's, honestly. But, um, oh yeah, the McDonald's. These are you can't compare these. I don't think no. to McDonald's at all. That'd be it's like saying Kentucky different. Fried Chicken and in a regular you know chicken patty somewhere. It's just different. It's yeah, just different. these are not the same. These are not McDonald's chicken yeah. nuggets. So while that doesn't, I would still rather go get like the Hot Hip Burrito or the Panda Express over the Arby's and the, and the Popeyes chicken nuggets. I think the chicken nuggets were good. It's just not something I would go to the restaurant all the time and get. And I would never get an Arby's again. So which is my favorite out of that You would bunch? never get Applebee's Applebee's, again. I mean. Yeah, okay. Arby's, I love Arby's. So um, he would never get the Applebee's again. I wouldn't get Applebee's again. Um, you know what? Honestly, I think I'm going to say the Hothead Burritos just because it was... Oh, okay. Well, That's hell, your favorite from the month? From this month. Okay. <coughs> just because it had more uh, underlying flavor underneath of it. Right. Yeah. Well, you don't eat that kind of food very often I don't. either, and it is I don't. very flavorful yeah. food. I did like the Panda Express too, though. I was just a little disappointed in the rice. That was, that was my only problem with that. I love right. the chicken. Well, that is it. That is it for the month of August. So uh, we'll be doing all this again uh, next month uh, for September. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very, very much to everybody. You can see how much uh, these people contributed to the channel. I mean, heck, if, if Maria hadn't have sent us that box, what, there wouldn't have been much of a video, favorites video, would it? Because uh, she sent us so much stuff. Uh, so thank you to everyone. We very, very much appreciate it. I think it adds a great variety to the channel to have things, you know, from Dr. J and then Maria and then Georgian and uh, Daniel. It just, and Maria, I mean, uh, and yeah, I mean, uh, asthma. Um, yeah, Kevin's Kevin, chips. Kevin's chips. It really adds a lot to the channel, so we appreciate it very, very much. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.